Welcome back to Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo and today is Monday, March 25th, 2019. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. During one of the most famous press conference rants of all time, former New York Jets coach Herm Edwards once said, it's not about whether you win or lose, it's how you play the game. And based on my count, there's only one woman in the entire figure division who's playing the game right now better than the division's newest superstar, Nadia Wyatt. After a third place finish at last year's Olympia and a runner up a few weeks ago at the Arnold Classic, in my eyes, Wyatt's established herself as the clear number two athlete in the sport. But when you sit down and really look at how far she's come in such a short period of time, it really does seem like she's only just getting started. So it'll be fun to see how the race between Sydney Gillen and her starts to shape up as we get later in the season. Bodybuilding is a lot like the fashion industry, in the sense that you don't realize that someone is single-handedly moving the needle on what we all accept as the new standard until they've already done it. Over the weekend, Brian Ansley, the man who's been setting the standard in the classic physique division for the last two and a half years, was spotted knocking out some heavy-duty off-season back work as he continues to push himself through phase two of his off-season program. Even though the level of talent in the classic division gets better every single year, Brian's level of confidence is so insanely high that he makes you believe that he's untouchable. And until someone proves they got enough firepower to knock him off the top, he's going to keep being the one who moves the needle on the standard. I read a book about extreme winners a few years ago, and one of the things that still sticks with me to this day is the fact that extreme winners always have the same trait in common. They obsess every single day about doing the little things over and over and over again until they become automatic. And that's exactly what Ricardo Correa is doing right now. The 212 All-Star released a handful of new updates recently where it was obvious to anyone who was paying attention that is completely locked on to doing whatever it takes right now. At 220 pounds, this is probably the sharpest off-season Correa we've ever seen. And when guys with his talent start to become obsessive about the process, it usually results in the wins piling up at some point down the road. Sometimes in sports, we get so caught up on who the big winners are that we lose sight of the people who are out there winning the little battles every single day and closing the gap between them and the rest of the competition. And to me, Sam Pierce is one of the guys who 100% fits that description. Pierce is only two weeks removed from putting together a lights out top 10 performance back at the Arnold Australia. And you can already see that he's not wasting any time getting back to the gym to make improvements. That Arnold Australia lineup was absolutely loaded at the top, so it's easy for guys like Pierce to get lost in the shuffle sometimes. But if he maps things out and comes up with a solid game plan, I can see him figuring out a way to get a win before the end of the season. I'm sure most of you have probably heard the old saying that your body is your temple. Well, I don't know about anyone else, but I take one look at Joe Mackey and it makes me think I need to get the name of his contractor because this guy's temple looks like it's built for war. Over the last few years, Mackey seems like he's been in all-out assault mode, which makes me think that he might be secretly easing his way into the early stages of his first prep of the season. In the past, we've seen Mackey put together a few really solid efforts against elite competition. And assuming he brought up a few of his weaknesses, he's someone who will be deadly in the right lineup. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions. And make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.